hi lovely people it's a very bright sunny day and today let's discuss two important factors essential factors core factors in your preparation and they're considered to be the decider in fact maintaining optimal balance between these two factors is considered to be the key they are none other than speed and accuracy So when you're practicing multiple choice questions, we always have this tendency to complete the particular question as fast as possible. But at the same time, we have to be cautious not to commit several errors. So the objective here is to maintain pace at the same time, minimize the errors which we are committing. So that is optimal balance between speed and accuracy. So how do you achieve this? Let me give you a few practical tips in order to enable, maintain balance between speed and accuracy first and foremost before you start practicing multiple choice questions be thorough with the topic it's as simple as that be thorough with the topic practice learn in and out prepare notes and then jump into multiple choice questions because often we have this tendency to jump directly into multiple choice questions without understanding the background topic or the concept right and second practice set of MCQs in a given time frame because in the final exam day you have 180 minutes for 240 multiple choice questions so on an average you'll be getting 45 seconds for each multiple choice question i know the fact that certain mcqs can be covered or completed in 10 to 15 seconds while other mcqs might take much longer time but just keep this in mind when you're practicing mcqs that you'll be getting on an average 45 seconds so when you're practicing multiple choice questions allot a specific time frame if you're practicing 10 mcqs allot 10 minutes or if you're practicing 30 MCQs, allot 25 minutes, right? So get used to uh, practicing multiple choice questions at an optimal pace. That's very, very important, right? And the third one, practice more questions at the same time, different kinds of questions. So it's quality as well as quantity. It's not just about the number of MCQs you're practicing every day, but also the different range of questions which you're getting exposed to. You should allow yourself to think in diverse manner possible. So for that, utilize different books, utilize different test series, and try to get exposed to as many, as different MCQs as possible. And fourth one, participate in rapid fire discussions for example if you take our point and shoot sessions we have a limited time frame in which you have to answer questions right so it's a challenge so try to get used to these challenges so participate in these kind of active discussions point and shoot sessions or even if you look into our test series we have a time frame wherein you have to complete multiple choice questions in that particular time frame so by challenging yourself constantly you will definitely improve even though it's a very painful process you will definitely improve with time right and last but not the least the fifth one use compliance report to monitor the number of multiple choice questions you're practicing every day right so we have a specific column for number of mcqs you practice every day and by keeping a tab on the number of mcqs you're practicing daily and weekly you'll get to know yourself better you'll know how many mcqs you've practiced last day last week last month and based on which you can either increase or maintain the same pace right so these are some of the practical tips which you can apply in order to maintain an optimal balance between speed and accuracy right so wish you all the best love you all